Hey guys, it's Tom here from thisonlineworld.com. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Now, whether you love them or hate them or do all of your shopping there or none of your shopping there, there's no denying that Amazon is pretty much the king of e-commerce. And because of the sheer amount of stuff you can buy on Amazon, having an Amazon gift card is basically as good as having cold hard cash. So today I'm covering five realistic ways you can earn free Amazon gift cards in your spare time or if you want to buy something specific on Amazon. Just to show you guys I'm not full of hot air, uh, here's a sneak peek inside of my Amazon accounts. So as you can see, I have about $172 in my balance right now. And if we go through recent transaction history, you can see that I'm redeeming gift cards as far back as 2018. Uh, I earned all of these through various free methods I'm about to get into and some referral bonuses from my blog. I didn't buy any gift card codes, this is completely legit and these methods have worked for a few years so I'm quite excited to share them with you. But yeah, if you want to earn some free Amazon gift cards and even earn over $100 from one of the apps I'm going to mention in this video, stick around until the end because this is absolutely the video for you. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so the first way to earn free Amazon gift cards is actually a new app that's from Amazon itself and it's called Amazon Shopper Panel. Now this is, in my opinion, the best way to get gift cards for free because you can actually earn $120 per year or more in free Amazon gift cards with this free app. It's also a very simple app to use. In a nutshell, you basically upload at least 10 non-Amazon receipts to your Amazon Shopper Panel account per month. Once you upload 10 receipts in a given month, you get $10 of Amazon credit, which is basically an Amazon gift card. You upload a bunch of shopping receipts from online or in-store purchases, you get $10 of Amazon gift card money every month, and next thing you know, if you do that for a year, you have $120 of free Amazon money. You can also answer short surveys sometimes in the app, so there's a bit of potential to earn more than $120, and pretty much any type of receipt works, it just has to be a non-Amazon receipt. The main downside with this app is that it's only available in the United States at the moment and you have to join a waitlist. But in my opinion, it is the best way to get free Amazon gift cards. It comes from Amazon, you know it's legitimate, and yeah, it's $120 minimum as long as you upload all of your receipts in a given year. And if you're still watching the video at this point, if you could hit the subscribe button and leave a like, it definitely means a lot and goes a long way. But yeah, let's get into the second way to earn free Amazon gift cards. All right, so the second method to get free Amazon gift cards is to use cash back browser extensions. So the two most popular ones, or the ones I use at least and you've probably heard of, are Honey and Capital One Shopping. Honey is actually how I got a large percentage of my Amazon gift cards over the years and it's probably my favorite extension for earning Amazon gift cards, but Capital One Shopping is also cool and both extensions are fairly similar. Essentially, both these extensions automatically apply coupon codes at checkout. You've probably seen Honey before. I know Mr. Beast is a sponsor of them. They're very popular extensions, but in, the, in a nutshell, you shop online, they apply coupon codes and you save money. Now that step doesn't get you Amazon gift card money. It just helps you save more money online, but both Honey and Capital One Shopping also let you earn free gift cards by shopping at specific merchants. So with Honey, you can earn Honey Gold. With Capital One Shopping, you can earn credits, but essentially you buy products from sponsored merchants and you earn a percentage of your purchase in the form of credits as some kind of cash back. With those points, you can then redeem free gift cards, including gift cards to Amazon. And I'm gonna actually walk through my Honey account right now. You can see I'm redeeming about $70 worth of Amazon gift cards with some Honey Gold I had saved up. So. If you shop online, in my opinion, these two extensions are absolutely worth downloading. And you can also refer your friends or refer family members and get free credits, which you then exchange for gift cards. So in my opinion, they're both worth trying. And I actually have an article on thisonlineworld.com that covers the best money-saving browser extension. So I'm gonna link that down below if you want to learn more about Honey and Capital One Shopping. All right, so the third method to get free Amazon gift cards is to use reward apps. Now, I actually made a video on this topic recently where I covered some of my favorite cashback apps. And while these apps aren't gonna make you rich, I think they're a nice way to earn some free gift cards in your spare time, especially if you do most of your household shopping. And like the extensions, the idea is pretty similar. You basically download some free apps, you shop at specific merchants or buy certain products that are sponsored by these apps, and you get a percentage of your purchase back as a form of cash back. You can sometimes redeem points for PayPal cash depending on the app, but most reward apps these days only let you redeem free gift cards, but they all include Amazon and it's again, a nifty way, an easy way to just get more Amazon money. So two popular apps in this space in particular are Fetch Rewards and Ibotta. 
Again, if you've ever looked into reward apps before, you've probably heard of these two. They're the most popular ones in the space. The apps are also very easy to use. You basically open them, select the offers you want to shop for. When you purchase them, you just snap a photo of your receipt, upload it to the app, and you earn cash back. I like Fetch Rewards more than Ibotta because you can redeem gift cards starting at around $3 or 3,000 points, whereas Ibotta takes 20 dollars worth of earnings to cash out so it's a little bit slower but if you do most of the shopping for your household i suggest trying out both of these apps because you can earn free gift cards over the course of a year and if you're a teenager watching this and you don't do most of the shopping tell your parents about it or maybe become the cash back app guru of your house and get the gift cards after you upload some receipts on behalf of your parents and you know, help your family save money that way. All right, the fourth method you can use to get free Amazon gift cards is to use paid survey websites. And if you've seen my video where I answer surveys for 10 hours straight, you know I really, really don't like paid surveys. I can't stand them. I don't like spending time answering surveys. It gives me a headache. I think it's an awful side hustle to do long term. That being said, paid survey websites are very popular and people have commented even on my 10 hour survey video telling me they make more money with survey sites than I did or I was using the wrong ones or I was too harsh on them. And if you read money making guides online, they're very popular. So whether you love them or hate them, it is a viable option to at least earn a bit of extra money in your spare time. And some of them are also teenager friendly or you know friendly if you don't have a bank account or PayPal account, you can sign up for these as young as 13 with some of them earn some gift cards in your spare time and at least make a bit of money online. Now, in terms of getting Amazon gift cards, some of your best options are Swagbucks, Survey Junkie, Prize Rebel, and Grindabuck. I use Swagbucks and Grindabuck in my video on answering surveys and I much prefer Grindabuck versus Swagbucks, but again, it's up to you. You have to research which ones you like using, test them out a little bit. My only advice is not to spend too much time here because the opportunity cost of answering surveys all day for $5 of Amazon gift card money is quite significant. So if you're looking for other ways to make money online, this channel is full of videos. I'm gonna pin one above as well you can check out. So use them to make a bit of Amazon money in your spare time if you're <laughs> kind of desperate, but don't rely on survey websites for too long. All right, and the fifth and final way to get free Amazon gift cards is by far the most passive and something I think everybody should be doing, provided you can use it correctly. And the idea that I'm about to talk about is cashback credit cards. This is really a no brainer. And if you can use a credit card responsibly, there's no reason not to have a cashback credit card in your wallet. At the very least, a cashback credit card lets you earn about one or 2% of your money back in the form of cash back. So if you're spending a few thousand dollars a year, or tens of thousands of dollars per year on this card, that's actually some significant savings. So for starters, one cashback credit card you can try is the Amazon Rewards Signature Visa card. And off the bat, this card gets you a $50 free Amazon gift card when you qualify and sign up for it. You also earn 3% cashback at Amazon, 2% cashback at restaurants, gas stations, and drugstores, 1% cashback everywhere else, and there's no annual fee. So if you're a serious Amazon shopper and you're looking for a card, this might be the right one for you. Personally, I use the TD First Class Travel Credit Card and that doesn't get me any perks at Amazon necessarily, but I can actually redeem my cashback balance on amazon.ca or amazon.com. So it's again, a way to earn free Amazon money for my everyday spending. Now, if you Google a list of the best cashback credit cards, you'll find lists everywhere with you know the best cards for the given month when you're searching for it. and a lot of cards actually pay bonus offers like 200 bucks for free or 300 bucks if you spend a certain amount within your first three months or six months of becoming a card holder. So do some research, find a cashback credit card that A, works for your spending habits and B, has a good sign up offer. And if you can use a credit card responsibly, I definitely recommend it because it's just free money at the end of the day and it might score you some free Amazon gift cards as well. All right, well, there you have it. Those are five ways you can earn free Amazon gift cards in your spare time. Some methods require a bit of effort while some are more passive like using a credit card or cashback app. I will say that there are a lot of scams in this space and it's actually quite surprising. Like if you look up guides on this or videos, you find all of these Amazon gift card co-generators or guides that say you'll earn hundreds of dollars in free gift cards per month or per day or per week or whatever it happens to be. Don't waste time with this nonsense, honestly. I think most people can earn about 50 to $100 in free Amazon gift card money per year. You can probably earn a few hundred if you really grind out surveys or these apps and you put some effort in, but don't buy into these code generators or any of that nonsense. This isn't really a full on side hustle. It's more of just an easy way to earn some free money and treat yourself once in a while with some Amazon 
purchases. Now, if I missed a method on earning Amazon gift cards that you know about, please let me know down in the comments below so other people can also start earning gift cards. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. And again, if you wanna subscribe or like the video or leave a comment letting me know about what kinds of videos you want to see in the future, that's always appreciated. And I try my best to respond to as many comments as possible. That's all for this one, guys. I hope you have a fantastic day and week. And as always, don't forget to check out thisonlineworld.com for more unique ways to make and save money. I will catch you guys in the next one.